YouTube and welcome to my first video. My name is Jackie and some of you may know me kind of from one of Dan McDonald the Life Regenerator's recent videos. I think it was called uh, Why 801010 Doesn't Work for Everybody and I think that was posted like a week ago or so. Um, if you haven't seen that video, there's a link to it down in my little info box. And for those of you, it's a 30 minute conversation, so if you want the Cliff's Notes version, um, basically I've been vegetarian for six years, about, and for probably five of those years I've been vegan, and for almost two of those years I was raw vegan. In the beginning of my sort of health quest when I became vegan, I went raw for about a year and it was your traditional high fat gourmet raw sort of deal and um, I stuck with it for about a year thinking that I was just detoxing and maybe I just wasn't feeling that great like everybody talked about this amazing feeling that they got being raw and I just wasn't experiencing that so um, I waited and I waited and I waited and I had the food processor and I had the dehydrator and I was getting all of the superfoods and the really exotic ingredients that no one's ever heard of and that I couldn't even pronounce. And uh, after a year, it was just like, oh, so horrible making dinner. It was so horrible making anything. Um, I was making the raw lasagna and the raw chocolate cake and all of this stuff and it tasted great, but um, I just didn't. I didn't get those amazing, oh, I feel amazing sort of results. And so in the end, it ended up not being worth it. It was just too much of a hassle. It was really expensive. And so um, I stopped and I just went to regular cooked vegan diet. Um, well, then fast forward a couple of years, the, the raw thing has always been pretty important to me because it makes sense to me intellectually it makes sense why I mean first of all if you're vegan you know that dairy and meat aren't good for you so that was number one I was vegan but then if you're cooking your food you're cooking all of the nutrients out of your food everybody knows that pretty much um, and so the raw thing sort of just made sense to me and so I started doing research after having my son when I was pregnant, by the way, I was not vegan. It was really bad. <laughs> I gained 60 pounds pregnant, and um, I lost it really quickly. Thankfully, I got back on the vegan track, and I lost the weight, and um, I really wanted to be healthier again. And my son has been raised vegan, and so I started doing my research, and I found 80-10-10. I got Doug Graham's book. I um, started following it back in April. I... I was religious on this diet. I was logging all of my um, meals. I was making sure that I was getting enough carbs for my body weight. I was making sure that I was way under the fat limit. And um, for about, I guess, two weeks, I felt really good and I looked really good. And then I started getting cystic acne. I mean, really bad. I've never had acne. I've always had really good skin. Um, and so this was kind of, it was hard for me and I, and I kept thinking, okay, maybe it's detox, maybe it'll go away. And it just didn't for, you know, basically eight and a half months. I had horrible, horrible, I mean, everywhere, acne down my neck. It was really bad. And then I found that um, when I went off of the diet, my skin completely cleared up. So I didn't really know what was going on there. That's why I contacted Doug because um, this is no criticism of people in the 80-10-10 sort of group or crowd or whatever, but it tends to be that if you aren't getting amazing results on the diet and if you ask certain groups of people about it, they say that you're doing it wrong. Well, I knew for a fact that I wasn't doing it wrong because I was following it to a T. Um, and so I contacted Dan about it to see what he had to say and he ended up, during the video, he just said, well, um, you know, you're just detoxing, you need to push through it. And so basically, I, I don't know, I'm not going back on 80-10-10. I, I didn't feel good. I gave it nine months. I don't, I don't know if I feel that, 
such a heavy, heavy detox would last that long, especially considering the fact that I've been vegan and pretty healthy for, you know, a long time now. Uh, I don't really drink. I never did drugs. I never smoked. I've always been a heavy exerciser. Um, I've never had, you know, soft drink sort of addictions or anything like that. I've always just liked water. I've always been pretty healthy, so... I don't know, I, was, I had this epiphany that, I mean, okay, if we were just dropped in a garden and we had never read a book in our lives and there were just fruits and vegetables around us, would we be counting calories? No, we wouldn't even know what a calorie was. Would we be, you know, thinking, oh, I can't, either, either I can't eat fruit because I'll get fat or I can't eat fruit, that's too much sugar. Or would we be thinking, um you know, I, I have to eat 80% of my diet needs to come from fruit, you know, I mean, we wouldn't be thinking any of that stuff, we wouldn't be measuring anything, we would be eating what we felt like eating, and I think that I have decided that that's sort of the healthiest way to go about it, that's the most natural way to go about it, I feel like, I feel like the gourmet raw thing, you're not going to be making raw chocolate cake in, you know, nature, that's not happening, you're not dehydrating your food either, you're not freezing your food. It's just, you know, kind of common sense. Um, Nama shoyu doesn't grow out of ground, so why the heck am I ordering it and putting it in my food? It, it just doesn't. Agave, I mean, anything kind of processed or whatever, um, it, you wouldn't be eating. And as far as 80-10-10 goes, I guess how I feel is that um, I wouldn't be measuring any of that in nature if I hadn't ever read any books or anything. But one thing that I do really believe in um, that I learned from Doug Graham and all of those people is that obviously we need fruit. If you're just eating vegetables, you're going to be really hungry. And uh, the bulk of your calories should come from fruit and it's really easy to just sit and eat and eat and eat fruit So because it tastes really good. So I think that they were right there. Um, so as of Christmas, when I got off of 80-10-10, I ended up eating cooked food with my family for Christmas, and after that, I was so sick. It was shocking how sick I was. After being raw, after being raw that first year, when I was just the traditional raw, when I got off of it, I had no ill effects. I actually, I felt just the same. It was no big deal. But after being on 80-10-10 and going back to cooked food, oh my gosh, I was so sick. That night, I started feeling kind of weird. I ate that day and then I felt kind of sort of weird and too full and kind of gross. But um, as of like midnight, wow, I don't even know, projectile vomiting, it, it was bad. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but I was like, I was so sick. It, it was worse than food poisoning. It was really bad. So um, that gave me great motivation to, to not eat cooked anymore. <laughs> I think I'll ever forget that. I'm like traumatized from that experience. Um, which is good. It's a good thing, uh, cause now I'll stay raw, and I've I've been raw since then. I've been just eating whatever the heck I feel like eating, as long as it's as long as it's not cooked. Um, I haven't had any overt fat. I find that I feel the best when I don't. Maybe down the line, after I've kind of broken down some of my um, you know, toxins or whatever, maybe I'll feel like sometimes I can handle some avocado or some nuts, but uh, just. As of now, I feel really good without the overt fats. I've been feeling really good and I haven't broken out. I've been eating this way for a couple weeks again now and before it took me like two weeks and I already had cystic acne, but as of as of this moment, there are no signs of acne. Um, I feel really good. I've been eating tons of vegetables. I've made sure that all of my meals consist of fruit to fill me up and tons and tons of vegetables and then if I'm still hungry after that meal I just snack on fruit um, to fill me up and this way I've kind of made sure that I have tons of vegetables and I and I switch up the vegetables I haven't been um, doing anything fancy just kind of uh, mono meals of fruit and adding in some vegetables so and green smoothies have really been helping um, but yeah so I will keep you updated on my progress and on my journey. It might help some people to um, 
sort of see someone going through it, maybe that is detoxing, maybe I will get the acne back, I don't know. Um, we'll just see how it goes, but my goal for this new year, 2012, is a year of transformation, and I want to uh, improve myself inside and out, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and just the first step for me is going raw, and so this whole year I just, I want to be raw, nothing cooked at all, and uh, if I have uh, any ill effects, I'm going to push through it, like like Dan suggested, so I'm excited about it, and I hope that my journey can inspire some people and help, so stay tuned, I will be updating frequently, so bye, and I hope that everybody had happy holidays.